Hi go. guys, welcome back. And last time we talked about basic atomic structure and what happens when we alter the number of particles in a particular atom. Last time we talked about an isotope in that you change the number of neutrons to change the atomic mass. Today we're going to focus on what happens when we change the number of electrons in an atom. So let's revisit the normal carbon atom again. Okay. We have six protons and six neutrons in the nucleus. And surrounding that nucleus is six electrons. Let's see what happens when we get rid of one of these electrons. Okay? Let me erase this one right here. So now we have five electrons. Okay. The electrons are too small to alter the overall mass of the atom. So what's going to happen here is that the overall charge of this particular atom is going to change. Okay? Let's look at protons. Protons, remember, have a positive charge. P for proton, P for positive. So we have six protons with a positive charge. So we have an overall charge of positive six. Okay. Now let's look at the electrons. Okay. We have five particles in this atom with a negative charge. So we have an overall charge of the electrons as negative five. You add these two together, and what do you get? You have a positive one charge. So now this atom has an overall charge of positive one. We call this particular atom an ion. An ion is when you change the number of electrons to change the overall charge of the atom itself. Because we got rid of one electron, the positive charge takes over, so now we have an overall charge of positive one. The same effect also occurs when we add electrons to the atom, but rather than being positive one, it's going to be a negative charge. So let's take a look at that. Let's add in our electron again and change it back to normal. Okay. We're now back to square one. Okay. Now I'm going to add one more electron to that last orbital shell. Okay. So now we've increased our number of electrons to seven. So using that same logic with the positive ion, okay, we have six protons with a positive charge, so we have positive six. The electrons, you have seven particles with a negative charge, so we have an overall charge of negative seven. You add those two together, and you get an overall charge of negative one. This is still an ion. Okay, we changed the number of electrons, but now that we added more negative charge, to this atom, the negative charge of the electrons are going to take over. Okay, so join me next time when we talk about how to identify these types of atoms on the periodic table.